welcome to the Gen X Gypsy channel. In today's video, I am going to show you four of my favorite travel outfits for long airplane flights. Now, I don't know about you, but I am always looking for new ideas on what to wear on a plane, especially menopause friendly outfits now that I get those hot flashes. Anyway, I thought I'd share with you today a few of the ideas that I've come up with over the past few years. So come along. If this is your first time to the Gen X Gypsy channel, welcome. This is a channel about travel, adventure, and lifestyle for those of us who are in our midlife but want to live our best life. If this is something that you're interested in, if you could please subscribe, like, and share with your friends, that would be fantastic. Now, before we get started with the outfits, I'd like to go over my three rules that I have for choosing an outfit for flying. Rule number one, is that it cannot be schleppy. You are not gonna find me in pajama pants or um, sweats or even yoga clothes when I'm traveling. I kind of want to look a little put together. Now that doesn't mean I'm gonna be going to the other extreme and wearing a business suit or anything, but I do like to look a little classy and a little pulled together for my outfits. Rule number two is that the outfit has to be able to handle temperature fluctuations between myself and the airplane. I am right in the middle of menopause, so I never know when a hot flash is gonna hit. And also, I don't know what temperature the airplanes or the airports are gonna be at. So I could go from feeling like it's 95 degrees to feeling like it's 50 degrees, all within a space of 15 minutes. So I have to make sure that my outfits can handle the fluctuation in temperature, meaning that I wear a lot of layers so that I can take stuff off I can put stuff back on again. Yeah, that's how it goes. And then for rule number three, it has to be comfortable. I don't want anything binding me. I don't want to have something that's super tight and uncomfortable. I'm not gonna wear high heels that pinch my feet. Everything has to be comfortable because you're gonna be traveling for anywhere from six to 18 to 24 hours. So you wanna make sure that what you have on, you really like being in. <laughs> this first outfit I'm going to show you is my go-to outfit that I wear when I am traveling to warmer climates. I've put together all of these outfits with clothing out of my own closet, so unfortunately a lot of these items are not available. However, I have found very similar items on Amazon and I have uh, put the links in the description below so that if you do want to shop some of these looks, uh, there are options for you down below. And I will say most of the items are under $50. There are a few that are more expensive, um, more like the shoes and a couple of the jackets, but most of the items are actually very reasonably priced. So that being said, this first outfit, I got these pants at REI a while back and they are fairly lightweight cargo pants that have a little bit of stretch in them. So they are super comfortable, even though they have a button and a zipper uh, on the waistband, they are stretchy enough that they don't bind around the waist when you're traveling. And I've paired that with a, just a simple racer bag tank top that I actually got at Target. Um, you know, it's super comfy, stretchy, soft. And on top of that, I have put on a lightweight hoodie I don't remember where I got this hoodie from, but like I said, I found one that uh, is very similar that you could order. Uh, and this light, it's not a super thick hoodie, but it's enough of a layering piece that it will keep you warm if the airplane gets really cold. And then on top of that, I've put my favorite jean jacket, which is kind of a little bit of a stretchy jean jacket, and that is still available, and I love this thing. I, I use this jean jacket to layer over sundresses, or even uh, if it's a little chilly where I'm going, uh, you know, if I have a t-shirt and shorts on, I'll throw the jean jacket on just to have an extra layer. And it's great to have that to wear on the plane because then it takes up a little less bulk in your luggage. And that being said, I also wear my running shoes, which I use for my hiking shoes when I go to a lot of places. And I will wear those on the plane as well because they're usually the biggest shoes that I am taking for the trip. And and then that allows me to have more space to pack other things in my luggage if I'm wearing them on the plane. Now, if you are wearing this outfit from a cold climate to a warm climate, you can always layer a thinner pair of leggings or running tights under these pants. 
and that will help keep your legs a little bit warmer because the pants are a tad bit lightweight. Um, so sometimes, again, when the planes get pretty cold and you don't have a blanket to put on top of you, uh, the leggings can help keep you warm. One of the great things about this outfit is I can throw a pair of flip-flops in my personal bag on the plane and when I get to my destination, I can strip off my, my jean jacket, I can strip off the, the hoodie, and I can take the running shoes off and stick those in my personal bag and put on my flip-flops and my sunglasses, and I am ready to go. Now, if you're going somewhere sunny, don't forget to pack your sunglasses. And these sunglasses are ones that I showcased on my Amazon haul video recently, and I'll put a link to that up here so that you can see all of the goodies that I got for my next trip to Hawaii. And I love these sunglasses because they fold up and save a lot of space. You don't have to have a bulky sunglass carrier with you. You can just put them in a little cloth carrying case and you are good to go. This next outfit is more of an all-purpose general outfit that would be good to wear pretty much any time of year, almost anywhere you're going, just kind of your basics of basics outfit. So it starts off with this pair of awesome pull-on jeans that do not have a button or a zipper, so you don't have to worry about those digging into your waist while you are flying, uh, which if you watched my video on jet float, uh, which I will link as well, uh, you don't wanna have anything binding your belly while you're flying, especially for flights that are over two to three hours long. Uh, you just end up with so much excess uh, gas around your middle that when you have that zipper and that button, it just gets super uncomfortable and we don't want that. Now these jeans do have a little bit of stretch in them, but they are not super stretchy jeans. So they feel more like a real jean weight and they wear more like jeans, meaning that they're not like a legging type jean or I guess basically a jegging. They're not a jegging, no jeggings here. In addition to the fact that there's no binding stuff that's poking into my stomach, they also tend to make my pooch, I think, look a little bit better. There's a little bit of hold in the front panel that I think helps to make your belly look a little bit flatter without binding your belly too. For my top, I've layered a lightweight three-quarter sleeve scoop neck, really thin t-shirt over just your basic knit camisole to give me that layering that will help me stay warm, but also gives me the option to take off layers if I need to, if I start to get too hot. And I'm wearing my Lucky Brand cargo jacket over the top. I love this jacket because it's just, it's kind of cool, it's got big pockets so I can keep my passport and my phone in the pockets for easy access. Um, it's lightweight, but enough of a weight that it does still keep me warm when I wear it. And it's a fun jacket to have when you're traveling. It just, it makes other outfits look really fun and cool without being too dressy if you are in a more casual setting. And I've added my little red Adidas trainers to the outfit, which I think adds a little bit of panache and fun to the outfit. I like adding a little bit of color. I do tend to travel wearing darker colors in case I spill anything or sweat stains or you know all that stuff that can happen when you're traveling for a long time. So I like having a little bit of color added to my outfit. It makes it kind of fun and kicky and the you know Adidas trainers are really on trend for this year. I've seen a lot more white ones but I really kind of like the color that my red gives to this outfit. Now I do like to wear really comfortable shoes when I'm flying and traveling because you never know when you might have to race to get to your next gate. So keep that in mind when you're picking out your shoes. This third outfit is an outfit that I would wear if I were traveling more during the winter season or if I'm traveling somewhere cold, like maybe going to Iceland or maybe going on a ski trip for spring break. But but it's basically a great outfit for going somewhere a little more chilly or during a season where it's going to be a little more cold outside. Now to save room in my luggage, I do wear my puffy jacket over my outfit and I just store it in the overhead compartment during the flight because it's nice to have that winter jacket when you get to your destination already out and not have to dig through your luggage to find it. In this outfit, I am wearing my pull-on jeans again 
and the basic knit camisole, but I have topped it with a loose knit cropped sweater. And I've also traded my Adidas trainers out for a pair of super comfy ankle boots. Now you could wear a higher pair of boots like a, you know, a riding boot or something like that if you wanted to with this outfit. I, however, like to take my shoes off when I'm flying and your bigger boots take up too much space under the seat in front of you and I like to be able to have some place to put my feet after I've taken my shoes off. But it's up to you if you enjoy wearing longer boots on flights, then I say go for it. Now the loose knit on this sweater will allow for airflow and therefore it won't cause me to have more hot flashes than I would normally with a heavier weighted sweater. And this last outfit is something that I would wear if I were going somewhere a little more urban like New York City or Washington DC or Portland. It's just nice to have something that feels a little more like you're in a city when you're on the plane and a little, a little dressier than the more casual outfits that I've been showing you. This moto jacket is totally on trend right now and I'm really digging this one that is more of a linen uh, canvas feeling material rather than a leather. Um, I have seen some knit ones out there that are really nice too. I think leather might be a little uncomfortable on the plane, but um, I like the lighter weight of this one. Now one thing to make sure that you do if you wear a zippered moto jacket that you are going to have to take it off when you go through TSA. I imagine that it is even something, and I haven't worn it yet, and I do have TSA pre-check, but I'm gonna guess this is something I'd even have to take off through pre-check. There's an awful lot of zippers on this thing. Now I've paired this over a um, simple shell tunic shirt that I actually got and I'm wearing right now, if you can see. Um, I got this during a clothing exchange with friends. It's really cute. It is from H&M, but I don't believe that they have this anymore. Um, it is covered with little giraffes. It just makes for a little fun and whimsical touch to the outfit, especially since most of the rest of the outfit is black. I have paired it with a pair of black stretchy jeans, and these jeans do have a button and a zipper, but because they are so stretchy, it does not bind around the stomach like regular jeans do. And I have finished off the outfit with my super comfy ankle boots. Again, wearing a comfortable shoe that if I need to move quickly, I can. If you've been watching closely, you've probably noticed that I wore the same accessories for all of the outfits. Now, to start with, the big black scarf is a travel mainstay for me. Number one, it helps to make the outfit look pulled together. And number two, you can use it for extra warmth and wrap it around you when that airplane gets frigid like they always do. The other accessory that I've been wearing are these earrings, and I'm not sure if you've been able to see them or not. Now these earrings I actually bought in Nicaragua for $2. I love to buy earrings as souvenirs from places that I travel because they're small and they're easy to pack. They don't take up a lot of space and I can wear them all the time and remind me of the places that I've been to. But what I love about these earrings for travel is that they are super lightweight. They don't have a post that will poke into the back of my head if I am trying to sleep on a plane. And their uh, hook that goes through my earlobe is long enough that it is not gonna fall out while I am walking through or potentially running through an airport. And as I mentioned before, I have my new favorite folding sunglasses with me. Basically, my suggestion is to keep your accessories as simple as possible. You don't want to have lots of necklaces around your neck or big bulky earrings on. And mainly, you're probably going to get pulled over when going through the TSA if you do have a lot of jewelry on. And two, it's just it gets uncomfortable to have that much stuff on when you're flying in the plane. So just keep it simple, elegant and basic is probably the best way to go on an airplane. I know it can be stressful to figure out what to wear on your travel day, so I hope these examples can give you some good ideas on what to pick to wear on your next long flight. What are your favorite travel outfit ideas? Please share in the comments below. I'd love to get some inspiration from you. 
Thank you so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, if you could please hit that like button. And if you haven't done so yet, if you could please subscribe and share if you know somebody else who would enjoy this information because you know sharing is caring. Hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.